Maya, you're being bold. <laughs> Are you helping plant bulbs? These are the last of my king's blood. So I'm planting them in the air with Java's help, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I've got to take you out of there. Come on. Oh, there we go. Yes. There's king's blood in here and king's blood in there. So we've got lots of beautiful red king's blood. Isn't that right? You clever boy. Okay, I've got to keep doing this now. Planting loads of these. I love king's blood. They're a really, really red tulip. I'm listening to the bird song. Okay, ladies, my voice is going again. <laughs> Off you go. Mr. Robin. Beautiful singing, Mr. Robin. He waits till the sheep are finished and then feeds on their leftovers. There's another robin that lives in that tree. Does the same thing. No sunset this evening. Just a glow in the sky. Gray, gray Irish day. I'm making my way down to the Yo's bale of hay to see how it is. And I spotted this branch on the ground and it shows how, you know, this fungus is growing between, it's splitting this bit of wood. You can see right there and it's living off of the rotting timber. Funguses are amazing. This old tree is probably one of the ones that were planted by my grandfather in 1940. And as you can see, it's well rotten. And here you can see the woodworm. If you have timber furniture, you know all about woodworm and trying to keep it out of the house. Here it is in its natural process of breaking down the timber, the rotten timber, the dried old rotten timber. Here you can see, this is the new bark trying to grow over the wound. You see, there's a ripple. What happened was this was, uh, had a branch coming out here at the top and it died. And you can hear, it's all rotten. But it's still trying to heal itself, the tree. It's still trying to heal itself here but it's not gonna last that much longer because the woodworm is already on this. Here you can see the healing. It's trying to heal from the rot, but it's not going to succeed, sadly. That's a bit rotten. You can hear the difference. That's dying, that's living, and then hear this. well and truly dead. So those are aspects of this poor old tree that was planted in 1940. So it's not young. There's a lot of trees in here that were planted in 1940. And then there's a lot of stumps. So my young apple trees will hopefully go and replace some of these trees. And then you have things like this tree here. This was a graft stock 
my grandfather tried to graft a tree onto rootstock and the rootstock took off. So the rootstock survived, but the tree he grafted onto that subsequently died. Probably it was in the latter years of his life. So he didn't, wasn't able to prune the rootstock back to enable the grafted tree to grow on. So here's another one. You can see there's rotten bits in here. But this is lovely and strong, but it has some rotten bits in it. So there's a lot of very old trees, but uh, we t tend to let the winds. Um, I did have somebody in two years ago, that's the perimeter, to do a big professional pruning. Uh, but a lot of the time now, we also just let the storms do the editing. Here you can see, this is a very dead branch. It'll be coming out sometime soon. Anyway, the reason I came up this end of the farm, or orchard, was to look at the yo's hay. And that should last another two or three days. So we're okay for the moment. Castrol, you think you're getting a little bit extra, is that it? Is that your plan? Hmm? Nah, I'm not going to give you any extra. This is a very dead piece of timber. This would be a younger tree. This would be a tree that uh, my grandfather probably planted later on in uh, probably the 1970s or 80s. Hey girls. Yeah. One of the new ewes from Northern Ireland. There's Lilac. She was the lamb that was gray, born gray. We'll see what happens as she matures. starting to rain. I better go in now. 